This is where we're getting into kind of tricky territory, aren't we? Because we are now operating under a mindset in which we can take care of people with robots. People can be cared for by robots. And why is this a problem? So I was having a conversation recently uh, with a young man who he's big into computers and he's big into AI, his marvelous mind. And he was very excitedly telling me about this new development that he had heard about where uh, someone was creating what we kind of call a robotic arm. This was an arm that had fingers and a hand. And this arm, this mechanical arm, could be uh, operated from a, a remote position. So the arm could be placed in someone's home, and then someone in another home, 100 miles away or something, could mechanically control the arm. And he was saying that this was going to transform caretaking professions. Because in a sense, you could look after people and take care of people from hundreds of miles away. And this was exciting to him. He thought this was a wonderful development, technological breakthrough. And I thought, okay, now this is where we're getting into kind of tricky territory, aren't we? Because we are now operating under a mindset in which we can take care of people with robots. People can be cared for by robots. And why is this a problem? We really need to use our critical thinking skills here because there's all kinds of reasons why this is a problem. For one, human touch is simply a part of being human. That's not going to change, right? Robots cannot provide human beings uh, with human touch. They can't. There is also a circuitry thing. There is a whole neurochemistry issue that goes on when one person touches another person. And there is a release of chemicals and hormones that are very, very important and that aid the healing process. Things like oxytocin. It's called the, the love hormone, the bonding chemical, okay? And it really is the stuff of love. The thing is, uh, a robotic arm may be able to provide someone with their medication. It may be able to provide them with a drink of water. It may be able to dab their lips if their lips are dry, but it cannot ever provide them with love. Never. And I think that's probably the biggest piece of what goes on between two people when someone is ill or requires care and another human being is there and accepts and is willing to provide that care. That's a form of love. That love can never be manufactured. It can never be delivered through technology. Those oxytocin hormone and chemicals, they will never come as a result of a robotic caretaking system. So I think we have to be very careful because we are treading into dangerous waters if we are going to start thinking about outsourcing love to robots. <laughs>